Welcome to Rick Rack Ruby. I'm Laura Cluvo. Today we will be making this 1970s style angel Christmas ornament. This project features the Blooming Bunch fabric collection from Moda. She's fun and easy, so let's get started. From my stack of fat quarters from the Blooming Bunch collection, I have selected a couple of fabrics and cut five inch squares. I just used my ruler and traced and cut these out. You might think I would use the orange because it would match, but I think I'm gonna go with this hot pink tool. I just bought this tool today at Joanne Fabric, so I'm sure that they have it. I'm going to, I'm going to cut two lengths from this tool about 24 inches long. Now that's very generous. I don't need that much, but I always like to have a little bit extra. Then I'm going to double that over, fold it in half. And with this nice long piece of ribbon, I'm going to say this is 20 inches of ribbon. I'm going to tie it off in the center. This is a variation of my charm square angel. So I've tied that off in the center. I'm going to use a 25 millimeter face. You can find the instructions for the face in my focus on faces video. So I'm just going to send the ribbon ends through the bead from the bottom to the top. The holes going through the beads might vary from uh, vendor to vendor. Okay, now I'm going to slide that on until I see the pink peeking out the top. Then I'm going to slide it back. I just want to make sure that this is going to fill the hole, and it does. And then I'll add a little smudge of glue here, just a little. It doesn't take much. And I'll leave it just like that. I'm not going to tie this off into a loop yet. Now, I have my sewing machine set up here and I have my glue gun over here and I'm going to sew these together like this. I'm going to give a quarter inch seam here and a quarter inch seam here. And I'm going to press those seams flat and I will be back. Here we go. Now I'm going to add some trim to the hem. I got all of these trims today. So here's blue. Here's little yellow daisies. Here's some green rickrack. Here's some pink daisies. <laughs> There's all sorts of options. Any one of them would work really well, but I think I'm gonna go with the yellow daisies. And first, so first I'm going to press up a quarter of an inch hem, and then I will just stitch the trim along the bottom edge right over the fold. Like I sew this along the bottom hem and I arranged it so that these little petals would hang off the edge. Here's how it looks on the back. Now I will fold this right sides together and hem up the back. I'll turn this right side out and I'm going to gather up the top edge with a double strand of quilting thread. I'm going to secure my knot on the inside, right on that seam allowance there. There we go. Now I will um, insert the angel through the top and draw these threads tight with the seam in the back like that. Distribute the fullness all around so that the center panel is right in the front and the seam is right in the back. Then to secure it, I just like to wrap it tightly about three times and then stitch through. It's really not as secure 
unless you stitch through. And that <laughs> thimble really comes in handy. I'll stitch through just once or twice. And then I'll secure the thread in the back. I'm still not going to tie this off, but I will trim this little petticoat. So I like to trim it a little bit longer than the skirt so that it will show a little bit beneath the hem, just a little like that. Now she needs a collar. So I have about a half of a yard of white lace. This is about 5 eighths of an inch wide. So I'm going to fold under one end. I'm going to secure the knot like that. And then I'm going to gather up this long length of lace. In and out, in and out, in and out. until my needle is full, and then I'll press it through with my thimble. There we go. Now I'll place this lace collar around her neck and secure it in the back. So I've joined the ends in the back. I'm pulling it really tight. That looks good. And again, I will stitch through to be sure that it's all the way secure. I don't want it slipping around. And I do have a fairly substantial needle, so it's not bending or breaking as I push it through all those layers. And again, I'm gonna secure this in the back. Now I kind of challenged myself to think about how could I make a hairstyle on this angel project that would look mod or 70s style. I was kind of stumped, but then I thought about, you know, like a little doll in the 70s and how she would have looked. And while I don't think her face would have been quite like this, I, I thought I might do two braids or two ponytails. And the ponytails really worked out. So I'm going, this is just a three by five card. Now this I think is the kind that's extra thick. So you might wanna double up and use two um, cards if you don't have these extra heavy duty index cards. Anyway, it doesn't take very many wraps. I'm going to say maybe 12 or 15. The long way like this, so the five inch way. And this is a three by five inch card. This looks like plenty, and this is just, um, you know, acrylic yarn that you get in a bundle. You can buy it um, in a little skein like this for 99 cents, or you can buy a big package of all different colors on Amazon. So now I'm going to go to my machine and stitch across the center one way and then the other way, and I'll be right back. There we go. Now I'm going to tear the card along those perforations and um, remove the index card and take the loops off. And now I have a little wig. I'm not going to um, cut the loops at all. Now sometimes when I uh, do a hair technique, I put the seam along this way. But it's really important to understand that for this project, this is a little girl from the 70s, and she has a center part, because that's what we did in the 70s, center part. So um, this is maybe an inch and a half or two inches long, but we only need about a quarter of an inch in front of the ribbon, the hanging loop, just a small amount. And the reason that I didn't cut the hanging loop is because I actually want to sort of like insert the ends through the wig about a quarter of an inch back. So this part will be in front of the hanging loop and then the longer end will be behind. I'm trying to get this approximately through the same yarns, if that makes sense. There we go. And now I'm gonna sort of try it on Okay, so this will be in front, and this will be in back. And we're gonna tie these off into little ponytails on either side. 
I think that looks pretty good. It's hard to tell now, but don't worry, it's gonna work out just fine. So I'm going to roll this edge under a tiny bit, secure this little bit right here with a little bit of glue. Okay, so right here, a touch of glue and fold this little bit under. Then I'm gonna secure that to the top of the head. A tiny bit of glue and roll that top edge under. And then I'm gonna add a little more glue right there and press that onto the top of her head in front of the hanging loop. So that looks good. Okay, now this part, this might be too long, but it'll be okay. Let's see. It may be a little bit too long, but I think we can actually use all this. So I'm gonna add some glue right down the center back like this and I'm going to press that seam right into the glue. Great. She has very thick hair. Great, that looks good. Okay, now I can actually tie off my hanging loop. Now with yellow thread, or you can even use yarn, you know, a length of the yarn. But since I have this yellow thread out, I figure I'll just use this. We're going to um, form this into a ponytail and tie it off with the yellow thread. It doesn't have to be perfect at this point because you can kind of pull the different loops through after it's tied and then it will be glued. Okay, and then same thing on the other side. Great. Oh, that's so cute. All right, now I'm going to add some glue right in here and I'm gonna press this down into the glue on either side. There's the glue. I'm gonna press that in, hold it for a second, and then the same thing on this side. A little bit of glue right there and then press that side in. So cute. So here's how she looks all the way around. See, she has like a little part down the back, and her little ponytails on the sides, and uh, they're kind of stuck to the sides of her face. <laughs> that looks really good. Let's add a halo. Because she's an angel, she needs a halo. It's our 1970s mod angel. I'm cutting off a length of 20 gauge gold wire. That's about four inches. And I'm shaping it into a U. And then I'm going to add some hot glue to either end and I'm gonna press them into the sides for a halo. That looks good. Now we're gonna do a little decoration on the front and I think I'll use this, a little pink baker's twine. I'll tie a bow, just like you're tying a shoe, no big deal. And let's see, so I get those loops even, that looks good. And then I'm going to glue this to the front of her collar, right there. 
I want to make sure I get the loops on either side and the um, streamers in the center. That looks good. This is, I'm going to tie an overhand knot into the end of each streamer. And I have a couple of options, but I'm pretty sure I like this one. That's good. So I'm going to glue this little pink centered daisy right there. That looks good. And then finally, I'm going to add some wings. This is the pad of paper that I got at Joanne Fabrics, Floral Poetry. DCWV, I'm not sure what that stands for. But anyway, it's very mod inside. Look at all these great prints. I mean, I could just spend all day matching up the <laughs> matching up the fabrics and the papers and I could make these things all day long. In fact, I think I am going to make quite a few more. Anyway, um, I chose two different options. This one and this one. And I cut them out with my die cutting machine. Here's the die that I use. It's five inches across. It's a five inch scalloped circle. So um, there's all kinds of different scallop circle dies out there and some of them are more elaborate and some of them are more simple or you can just use, you know, you can just trace a CD and you cut it out and that'll work just fine. So anyway, um, I'm gonna use this one and fold it back. And when you use something that's directional like this, when you fold it, obviously one side will be upside down. So I want this to be the front. I'm gonna zigzag around this edge and I'll be right back. Here's how it looks. It's all sewn up with this little zigzag and I'm gonna add some um, hot glue right here, to the top center, and then I'm gonna press it to the back of her head like that. And our 70s style angel is complete. Thank you for watching my tutorial. If you're enjoying my videos, please like, share, and subscribe.